A holiday, a holiday, the first one of the year. Lord Donald's wife came into the church, the gospel for to hear. And when the meeting it was done, she cast her eyes about. And there she saw little Maddie Groves walking in the crowd. Come home with me, little Maddie Groves, come home with me tonight. Come home with me, little Maddie Groves, and sleep with me till light. Oh, I can't come home, I won't come home, and sleep with you tonight. By the rings on your fingers, I can tell you are Lord Darnell's wife. But if I am Lord Darnell's wife, Lord Darnell's not at home. For he is out in the far green fields, bringing the yearlings home. And a servant who was standing by, and hearing what was said, he swore Lord Darnold he would know before the sun would set. And in his hurry to carry the news, he bent his breast and ran. And when he came to the broad mill stream, he took off his shoes and swam. Little Maddie Groves, he lay down and he took a little sleep. When he awoke, Lord Darnell was standing at his feet, saying, how do you like my feather bed and how do you like my sheets? How do you like my lady who lies in your arms asleep? Oh, well, I like your feather bed, and well, I like your sheets, but better I like your lady gay who lies in my arms asleep. Well, get up, get up, Lord Donald cried, get up quick as he can. It'll never be said in fair England, I slew a naked man. Oh, I can't get up. I won't get up. I won't get up for my life. For you have two long beaten swords and I've not a pocket knife. Well, it's true, I have two beaten swords that cost me deep in the purse. But you will have the better of them, and I shall have the worse. And you will strike the very first blow, and strike it like a man. I will strike the very next blow, and I'll kill you if I can. So Maddie struck the very first blow, and he hurt Lord Darnell saw. Lord Darnell saw the very next blow, and Maddie struck no more. And then Lord Donald he took his wife and he sat her on his knee. Saying, who do you like the best of us, Maddie Groves or me? And then up spoke his own dear wife, never heard to speak so free. I'd rather kiss from dead Maddie's lips than you and your finery. Lord Donald, he jumped up. Loudly he did ball. He struck his wife right through the heart and pinned her against the wall. A grave, a grave, Lord Donald cried to put these lovers in. But bury my lady at the top.
For she was of noble kin